Hey there everyone, today is March 29th, Good Friday. Today we celebrate the victory of the cross, and we venerate that cross with a kiss. Our service is at 3 p.m. this afternoon, it's not a mass, it's a service uh, at 3 p.m. And during it we'll have the reading of the Passion, we'll have the solemn uh, intercessions, and um, you know, the great veneration of the Holy Cross. Hope you're able to join us. When we just think of that, that we have crosses in our church and that you probably have crosses throughout your home. Hopefully you do. You might have crosses, you know, on your necklace. You might have it around the car uh, rear view mirror. Um, you might have images here or there. I see sometimes people have it as like the background of their phone. If we think of like what the first century people would have thought of that, they would have thought that was kind of odd. You know, this instrument of death, this torture device, we just have hanging around. But we know it's because of that instrument of death, that torture device, that sanctifying grace became available to all of us for all time. And each of us have crosses to bear still today. And through those crosses, we have the opportunity to receive grace. Right? How I endure that cross can relieve can, can give me some grace to keep striving right to grow in holiness to renounce sin in my life to acknowledge my own faults am i using my crosses for that i can honestly say at different points in my life having different crosses to bear i did not bear them well and i look back and i wish i could have done better uh, but all i can do is just see the crosses i have right before me and try to endure them better I hope that you have crosses hanging around your house to remind yourself of whatever obstacles or you know setbacks or crosses you have are means of salvation. I hope that you have them uh, hanging around your rearview mirror in your car, on your phone, you know, stickers on your computer or whatever. To constantly remind yourself, God is calling you through that tough thing to become radically holy. Have a very prayerful Good Friday. God bless you.